Hello everyone, thank you for coming to check this out. This is something I've been meaning to share with you for a while. I got sidetracked with the compound shape series and I'd rather give this out to you now than wait until part four of compound shapes because I'm not sure exactly when I can get that one out to you. This is something you might have seen before done another way. Uh, there's a tutorial from Mark Spencer of Ripple Training showing us how to use lines uh, connected to paths with track points behaviors. So this is an alternative method that I use because it has some advantages over the other method. I shared this with the Motion 5 Facebook support group and it's about time I get it out to you as well. So I'm just going to link you the project file and what we'll do here is a quick walkthrough of how this works. It's really simple. So basically these lines are all just replicated. So if we look in the replicator here, it's just uh, there's the line source, just a tiny little dot, uh, a tiny little line actually, just two pixels in length. And that's the source for the replicator. The replicator is a line with like 500 points there, so it's nice and tight without any gaps. Then what we do is we've got these shape layers. These are just running on an oscillate behavior to get some random motion in there. Each replicator has a start point and an end point. So we've just linked the start x and y to the shape that we want it to pair to. So there's links on this one and links on this one. There's six links, so each line has a link, 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 link. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Okay, and that and that's about all there is to it. So I'll put this up for you to download. Have fun with it. And I'll put a link in the description for Mark Spencer's uh, tutorial showing you another way to do it as well. Alright, thanks for checking it out. Catch you later.